speaking about the sun uh, can vitamin d be generated alone from sun of course see vitamin d number one is never coming ready made to you from the sun the rays are ultraviolet b rays they work on your skin the fat over there to produce something which gets converted into something else in the liver in the kidney and then the final biologically effective vitamin d is available for the cells okay so sun is there but the issue is in today's time with all the pollution with all the uh, you know sun phobias we have we are not really getting adequate exposure to healthy sunlight our ancestors used to be in sun working throughout the day they were sweating in the sun throughout the day and they would get 90% of their vitamin d requirement only with their so called external outdoor lifestyles 10% they would get from few food sources okay now the paradox is in today's time we are scared of sun right and we are scared of the ultraviolet a rays there are two types of rays good and bad you know so the exposure to the bad rays has increased because of the you know ozone issues the you know the holes in the ozone layer and then the pollution so we are getting more of the bad rays that is one thing and two we are not exposing to sun at the right time also we think a morning walk at 6 o'clock 7 o'clock is enough for me no the right time to get healthy sun exposure is between 10 am to 2 pm with at least 70% of the body exposed without being covered without using sunscreens for at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes a day so the question is are we ready for it in today's time right our lifestyles are predominantly indoor we go out we cover ourselves fine so that 90% vitamin d which our ancestors used to get from sunlight is not there come to food vegetarian food there is no vitamin d and even whatever vitamin d is there in the egg yolk and you know some of the other uh, non vegetarian sources is still not enough to meet the requirement 90% which we were getting from sun we are not getting right so the time has changed and also we have seen that people who are outdoor personalities like sports people children who are playing outside in fact many of the people who are coming from a semi urban setup even they have vitamin d deficiency because there are other issues in the body the liver the kidneys the skin they are not able to process it the gut right then we need magnesium in good quantities to activate vitamin d and that is another big deficiency which is global so we are not having the adequate cofactors to activate vitamin d so there are many reasons but the gist of it is vitamin d deficiency is now a pandemic mm. yeah true it true. is a 